If you've been sending text messages to your clients, but you're not using a compliance solution to do so, Derek and I are gonna talk about my rep chat. Hey everyone, I'm Bill Winterberg of fppad.com. Joining me today is Derek Girard, CEO of My Rep Chat. Derek, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. So we're gonna talk about My Rep Chat, what it is, and provide a demo to you so you can see how it works. But I wanna understand where you come from, some of your background, yeah. so our viewers who are not familiar with you or yeah. My Rep Chat, they can get familiar. Well, a little bit about myself. I've been uh, actually in the financial services industry for 13 years. So it's a little unorthodox for me to be in the technology world. I'm not that unorthodox. Yeah. There's, well, there's a lot of advisors who create software companies. Yeah, there is, uh, but you don't run into them all that often. And sometimes by the time you do, you don't, you don't even realize there's an advisor behind it. Um, so this was a big a passion of mine because my, my background in the, in the financial services industry, both as an advisor, as a compliance guy, as a consultant, uh, most like, recently, like the trifecta. Yeah. There. Most recently, as an advisor, I kept having clients text me, and I needed to find a solution that I felt was built specifically to how we communicate with clients. Yeah. There's a lot of things you can sort of cram into the industry. I wanted to create something that was unique to what we do. Yeah, and you talk about texting because I know that it is a hot button topic mm -hmm. uh, for archiving and, and compliance purposes. Yeah. I admit, I freely admit that I have a preference that I want to send text messages to my financial planner. I also do it, not that I have a preference, I actually do it. I mm -hmm. send text messages to my yep. planner and I also send text messages to my CPA. And it's usually things that I want an immediate answer on or it's a yes or no question, kind of true or false. So I take for granted whether or not my CPA or planner has some sort of solution on yep. their end to accommodate my desire. And as I talk with advisors and create content like this, I know that more and more advisors want to support that type of interaction and that type of communication with yep. their clients, but they don't want to create problems and issues with compliance. So I hope that we're gonna learn yeah. about my rep chat and, and how they can really do engage their clients uh, compliantly yeah. But there's also some value add features that we were talking about a little bit earlier that take it above and beyond just enabling text yeah. messaging. So is there anything else to kind of paint a picture about the value of something like MyRepChat before we dive into the demo? Yeah, I think one of the one of the most important things for us as we created this thing and me specifically being the advisor was how do we create a tool that not only does what it's supposed to do from a compliance perspective, obviously that's extremely important, but how do we make it a tool that advisors actually want to use? Good point. And so what we don't want to have is another tool that we're told we have to use because compliance says so. That We have enough of those tools in our industry. There's enough of those regulations out there. Yeah, but there's a reason why you know, an enterprise tells its of reps course. you've got to use this because of the due diligence that they put into Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So I'm sympathetic to some yep. of that, but you, I, I don't want to interrupt the point that you're trying yep. to talk about. Yeah, and, and, and from a compliance perspective, I understand that as well, sort of sitting on the compliance side, talking with advisors and advisors, we always want everything and we don't always understand some of the risks behind the scenes. So absolutely. Yeah. But one of the main things for us was make it a tool that was, that was really functional, that did a lot of different things so that myself and my peers in the industry actually wanted to use it as a form of communication. Um, and, and from the feedback we've received, I think we've done that. I, I, as I think about that while you're talking about it, text messaging is very pervasive and popular because it's really easy. Yep. You have the app on every phone and device that you buy. You open up the app, you send your message, put in the phone number or the destination and it's done. Yep. So there's no learning curve to it. And so if uh, Enterprise were to say, hey, advisor, we want you to use this solution, I, I totally acknowledge that I don't want the solution to be more complicated Correct. than that easy interface. Yep. So hopefully that's what we're going to see today yep. on how an advisor is able to add this solution into their daily habits yep. when they correspond and communicate with their clients. Yeah, so, and one thing I'll share with you too is that it's you know one thing from the advisor's perspective, but the other part of it is sort of from the business perspective. What I mean by that is, you know, you're somebody who texts with your advisor. Yep. I have tons of clients that text with me. No, no matter how many times I've told them over the years you're not supposed to, I can't respond. They don't pay attention. They keep doing <laughs> they it. They don't really care about your compliance no. issues. And because they don't see it as a big risk, right? It's what they do with everybody else. Why, why can't I do it with yeah. you? And so when I talk to advisors, there's almost two different types of advisors out there. Ones that want to embrace it 
and, and are eager to embrace it and others that don't. And others that say, nope, I don't want to do it. I don't want to open up that line of communication. Yeah. And I think what they've learned when they've seen this tool is that texting for this purpose is very different than texting your friends. And it's the, the feedback we get suggests and invalidates just that, that it's very different. And for those advisors that have said it historically, I don't want to text, I don't want to open that line of communication. One of the cool things we've added to this, and I can talk about that, is the ability for your assistant to basically do every bit of it for you but it still opens that line of communication for your clients. Yeah, that's right. You bring up a good point because I would suspect some advisors are conscious that I don't want to be on call 24 hours right. a day, seven yeah. days a week, and I take vacations as well. And so you're alluding to the fact that there's this team component. Yep. There's some supervision, I guess, if you will, or like cascading of attention to yep. these messages. So I like that attribute already, and we haven't even jumped yeah. into a demo. Right. So is it time to kick off the demo? Let's do it. All right, let's jump in. All right, so we have here the main uh, the main screen for Ion Lake, the parent company, and, and then of course my rep chat, the product. So up here in the top right uh, for this demo is where I will log in. Now we have multi-factor authentication. So the very first time you log in, it's going to ask you to create a method for authentication. You can use your email, text messages, you know, probably the most widely used. Great, because yeah, that's super important for uh, this type of information yep. being exchanged back and forth between yep. clients and advisors. Uh, it's almost like a default that all these sites should be protected with multi-factor yep. authentication. It's a very strong attribute. Absolutely, and we've already done that here to save ourselves that step. The phone will do the same thing, and we'll talk about the phone here in a little bit. All right. So what you're seeing here is the main screen when you log in. And so we've done a ton of work to, to improve the look and the feel of this. The old version is very different than the new version. But if I go to a previous message, for example, you'll see that entire string is here uh, right in front of me for, for me to review and read and, and all those good things. Got it. A couple of things that I'll talk about here first. First of all, I'm going to go to the top right and hit this little button because it makes everything a little bit darker, easier for the viewers to see. When you sign up to use my rep chat, one of the things that also makes this unique is that if you have a landline phone number, okay. you can actually use that for texting. Ah. So during the setup process, there's a, a, a the second step in there asks you what number you want to use. If you have a landline number, you can type that in and we'll verify it instantly if we can use it. Uh, if it's a voice over IP, the, the answer is maybe. There's so many different variations of voice over IPs out right. there and so it's hard to be able to say yes. But if they have a voice over IP, let us know and we can let them know if it's possible and what the steps might be to, to, to work with it. But landlines are almost always yes. They're very simple. It's a step-by-step -step process. Follow the instructions. And we're only within 10 minutes to an hour. You're texting from the same number your clients are already calling. So now you can extend the normal phone number that clients are already accustomed to using yep. for phone calls with their advisor. They can use that same phone number to engage in that mobile Correct. messaging communication. Correct. Yep. Great. If that's not an option, whether you don't have a landline number, whether you, you have a voice over IP and it doesn't work, or maybe you just don't want to, the other option is we create a separate number. So during, okay. during the setup process, you'll type in your desired area code and you'll see mine up here in the top right. So my desired area code, okay. I'm, I'm out of Minneapolis, is 612. Um, so you'll type in your own area code and, um, and then a list of numbers will pop up. Yeah, so you can provision something yep. in your local area. Yep, and it doesn't take days or you know hours to do, it happens instantly. So when you type in the area yep. code, they pop up right there, you take the number you want. Good. Every once in a while we have an advisor say to us, Derek, my clients don't want to know another number. They don't want to know another number. Trust True. me, they don't want to know another number. And I reiterate to them every single time, your clients do not care. That's the most common piece of feedback we get outside of, I was shocked how many of my older clients prefer to text. But clients do not care. And the thing that people have to remember is that these days, People don't call or text numbers. They call and text names. That's right. We've got these contact cards yep. automatically programmed in our phone. Correct. So it's a one-time setup essentially yep. for the uh, client. And if the advisor has a new phone number that they've provisioned, add that to the contact card. That's the That's mobile it. connectivity. And now yeah. if I want to text my advisor, Bill Winterberg, I do Bill Winterberg Mobile and now I'm off to the races. That's it. And so what we've done in our system to make it even easier for people is if I go over here to this gear 
you'll see there's a virtual business card. This right. V card is built into everyone's system. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. If I'm the advisor and I create a new number and I send a text message to you as a client, it says, hey, Bill, this is Derek Gerard. This is my business texting number. Your iPhone and most Androids will actually capture that and say, hey, Bill, this looks like a message from Derek. Do you want to update his contact info? Yep. You can say yes, save it, and they never think about it again. Perfect. We do have a lot of advisors, though, that have said, I don't want Derek Gerard personal to be the same as Derek Gerard business. I want there to be a separation because if they want to text me about the ball game, that's different than texting me about business. That's true. And so you'll see in my V card here, it has Derek Gerard business because they may have Derek Gerard saved. I want this to be separate. Okay. And I'll show you why this is important here in a little bit. So a few other things that I'll highlight uh, in the system and how it works. First of all, if you scroll down, there's an auto forwarding feature. Very important, right? We create this virtual number. What happens if somebody calls it? Well, somebody calls it. What we don't want initially is for this number to be a live number on your cell phone. There are solutions out there that let it be a live number. We're actually working on rolling out a solution that'll let you do that. Okay. The feedback we get constantly is that the call quality on a voice over IP on a cell phone is really bad. And two, what people don't realize is if I have a voice over IP phone call on my cell phone, I'm not using the minutes of my cell phone. I'm using the data of my cell phone. Okay. Okay. So I have unlimited minutes with Verizon, but I have limited data. And so the more I'm on the phone using this system, you know, if I'm using the, the, that number itself, it's gonna be eating the data of the phone. All right. So people don't like that surprise when they get a bill in the mail for it's twice a, as much. It's an interesting nuance yep. that we take for granted. You're just talking yeah. on a phone and you hear somebody on the other line. You're not <clears> conscious <throat> of, is this over cellular antennas correct. or is it over my data plan? Yep, correct. So we are working on, we're rolling out, looking to roll out a version in, a, in actually less than a month that will allow you to do it. Um, but you know, we have a lot of people changing from the other providers that do it now. They don't like it. so. We'll see if people right. if people want that or not. All right. You know, I don't know. We, we got the nitty gritty details, but I think yeah. that's an important point to make. Yeah. Uh, archiving relationship. This is really important. We want to try to be able to stay consistent with people and yep. who they who they work with. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger oh, here. Sure. How about that? All right. So if you click here, one of the things that's really important, and we've got more that more that we work with uh, that are not on this list, like Proofpoint, Microfocus. Uh, there's a couple other ones that we're working to roll out here in the next, actually, in the next week or so. Um, but when we talk to somebody and they say, listen, all my emails and my you know, social media and things like that are archived with Message Watcher, yeah, for example. Yeah, they already have an existing yep. archive provider that yep. they subscribe to. We don't need to add another one to their plate. Compliance people don't like that. Advisors don't like that. Nobody likes that. So if they don't have an archiver, we can archive it for them. Okay, because I see you've got Ion Lake as one of Correct. those options here. Yeah, every user in our system, just to take a quick step back, every user in our system has their own database. Every database is encrypted. Every database is stored in worm format, SEC approved worm yep, format. Okay, good. So even if we hold that data for an advisor, it's stored in a siloed database for as long as they want us to hold it. But more than likely, they probably have a relationship with another organization, and we've built those connections already to send the data directly to That's them. That's right, excellent. This is probably the part that advisors you know, sort of like the most, and this is the integration with their CRM. So when you go to add contacts to your my rep chat system, you can do it a couple of different ways. Yep. If I'm on the cell phone, I can import directly from the cell phone. There's a button that says get contacts and I can pull up my contact list of my cell phone. Okay. Because there's a lot of advisors that may not have an office number, they only operate off their cell phone. Yeah. So they just want to pull them in. Okay, okay. I, mean, yeah, I can't totally endorse like having all the client information I, on an unencrypted yep. phone or yep. you know all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure that enterprises have their different rules yep. over um, how much of that data can be put on a, I guess, a device that's used Standard for personal device. business yeah. as well as yep. business business. So. so that's one way of doing it. There's a couple other ways. You can import from a CSV. If you have contacts in a CSV, you can uh -huh. add them manually. But of course, the most popular feature is through our CRM integration. All right. Terrific. And we are, we are constantly adding and updating this list. Uh, we've got a couple more that haven't made it to this list just yet because we're just about to roll them out. So a few things to keep in mind. Our CRM integrations work like this. So if I go down, for example, to, let's say, Smart Office. Yep. Somebody uses Smart Office. We give you the instructions on how to get the token oh, helpful. within Smart Office. Good. Okay. And we're actually built right into Smart Office, which is even better. So those folks that use it, when you open Smart Office, there's actually a separate tab in it for my rep chat. Great. Um, not all of them work that way, but this one is a unique integration that we have. That's why you chose it. That's of course. <laughs> of course. Um, so when you when you find the token, you can use this button to get your contacts. Okay. Yep. 
when you when you hit this button, it'll go into uh, through an API, go into Smart Office, and pull up all your contacts. Yep. So it makes that secure connection yep. via API, authenticates, and then has access to Correct. all the contacts to which the token has permission to access. Correct. And you can just import all them in into my rep chat. Yep. And you can, when you import them, you can even import sets. So if I have groups of people that are sort of set up in a group of A clients or B clients, I can actually in group, yeah. in, in, import that entire group. Or clients and prospects. Correct. You don't want to necessarily Absolutely. pull in all the prospect information. Yep. So the great thing is I can pull in the clients that I want. I can hand pick them or just pick them all. I tell advisors all the time, don't pick them all. I'll show you why here in a minute. <laughs> I can see why. Um, but when you pull those contacts in, they'll be added as a contact into my rep chat. And it'll actually also tag the client as a smart office integration. So okay. we know that we've got the connection. When you have that done, the next important piece is this piece right here, this activate notes. What this does is as I'm, if you're a client of mine, as you and I are texting, it'll send our conversation back to smart office to get stored in the notes. So it happens nice. real time because again, me as an advisor, I don't want to have to check multiple locations to see what our conversation was before a meeting. That's right. I don't want the my rep chat tab open alongside my CRM yeah. tab and have to jump between the conversations that are captured in CRM yep. and then this separate stream of conversations. You have that ability to integrate those conversations done via messaging Correct. and then duplicate or copy them over into the CRM right so you the see that single conversation stream. Correct. Yeah. Terrific. The other thing that I'll highlight here on this page is that um, transfer of message goes instantly to the CRM, in this case, Smart Office. It, the second I send you one, it goes there as well. The second you send one back, it comes to me as well. Some advisors don't like that because that creates a separate entry every time. Okay, all right. So if you don't like that and you don't want that, this button right here allows you to turn off real-time notes. Oh, okay. What that does now is in, if you and I have a conversation where we send, I send you five messages, you send me five, at the end of the day, from midnight to midnight, we'll capture all that. At the end of that day, we'll send one report to your note entry of the entire string of conversation. Good. Time and date stamped, everything is still included, but it's only one note entry instead of 10 of them. So that's, that's good to know that yep. you have the option to not necessarily for those particular clients who like to text a dozen times a day, yep. Yep. it could flood your CRM with all those individual messages. You have that option right here, configurable yep. in the settings to uh, toggle that. Yeah, because we have some advisors that are very particular on their notes. Um, you yeah. know, their staff is set to do certain things based off a note that gets put in there. So they want them real time so they can keep up with what's coming in. Um, but most advisors that we talk to, that's just a headache and a nuisance. They would rather just have it going once and they're okay with that. All right. So we want to give them the choice. All right. So those are, I think, are, are sort of fundamental things that make the tool um, helpful and make it easy for people to use both from a compliance perspective as well as a business perspective because it doesn't make you duplicate a lot of things. This piece right here is really what I hope people recognize helps stand apart from everything else. So this is a smart message tab. And there, we're constantly working on different things that we can add to this and make this even better. But this tab itself, on its own, does a lot of really cool things for advisors. So right. first of all, I can schedule messages as far out in the future as I'd like. So I don't have any in May. I went through and deleted a bunch of them. But if I go over to June, you'll see a bunch over here on the left. Now, a couple of things you'll notice is you'll see here it's annual. So when I schedule a message, if I go to create, for example, and I create a scheduled message... I can choose the contact, but I can also choose the frequency. So sometimes I want to send a meeting confirmation. That's a one-time mess, one time message. Right. Other times it's open enrollment, 1099s, happy birthday, happy anniversary, all those different things that advisors celebrate with clients. I don't want to have to type that in every single time and have to remember it. So you know what? I'm just going to set that to be an annual thing or a monthly thing or whatever it might be. I think that's very clever. Again, the ability to... Do something one time and have that conversation go back and forth is yep. great. But now, right here, we have the ability to do that customized frequency to prepare for a meeting or, like you said, um, estimated taxes. Yep. Right? It happens four times a year. Yep. It would be great to just say, hey, FYI, estimated taxes are due in five days. Yep. This is just a friendly reminder that you better make your payment yeah. <laughs> or the IRS is going to penalize you. And it can be as simple as it's time for our... our uh, semi-annual meeting. Give give the office a call when you get a chance. Terrific. It can be as simple as that too. So I can set that to be every six months and be done with it. I think it's a great feature. Yeah. Templates. This allows me to do a lot of different things, but this allows me to create messages and or links that I might use more frequently that I don't want to have to type every single time. 
So I'll show you a couple here in a minute when we text back and forth, but this is a great place to create certain messages. And we also have shortcuts in here. So for this one, my meeting confirmation template. If I use these little characters here, it will automatically use the client's first name. Okay, so you got some substitution yep. capability, and I'm assuming it's gonna pull that from the contact record. Correct. From the first name, last name, and things like that. Yep. That's very good. Yep, and if I wanted to pull in first name, last name, I put F name and then L name. So first name and last name will let me do both. Yep. But again, a, a one-time option to set up that template one time. So I'm sure you can help an advisor set that up or their staff can learn what the nomenclature is to set yeah. that up. But then when they start using that in the future, all of that information is populated. In. Correct. So that's nice because it gives the level of customization yep. rather than dear valued client, that's exactly this right. text message is to remind you. Now you can say, Bill, I want to make sure you know that this is coming up. Yep. And that's a very nice touch for me as a client. Like, hey, that's Nice and personal. I and, like the personal touch. And the great thing is, especially with the scheduled messages, one of the pieces of feedback we get from advisors that use that regularly is they'll, you know, as an advisor, you know that the most frequent meeting that gets canceled or rescheduled is a Monday meeting <laughs> because everyone forgets everything on Sunday. And so what's funny is when you, when you send a message to a client on a Sunday afternoon, that's a text message confirming that appointment they think you're sitting there thinking about them while you're on the lake enjoying yourself. I guess that's right. And so the other thing is, <clears throat> not only does the template and the scheduling allow me to do that, the auto responses allows me to do some really cool things too. Mm. So, and I'll show you this as well. And this feature is exactly why I tell advisors, don't import all your clients at once because you can do some cool things with the auto response. But a quick example would be, if I go here to meeting confirm, and I haven't changed this particular one because it should say confirm instead of yes, but sure. I'll show you why in a second. Right. I'll show you what it does in a second. So if I send this to a client and say, just a quick reminder of our appointment set for tomorrow to confirm, text confirm, to decline, text no. And then a client texts back the word confirm, and I've set one in here. If that, if that word comes back all by itself, then they're automatically gonna get a response that says, thanks, I'll see you tomorrow. If they, if they text back the word no, and I can make these whatever I want. Sure. Sorry to hear that. Here's a link to my calendar to schedule the meeting. And if I have a system like Calendly or something else like that where people can book their own appointments, yep. I just put the link right in there. Otherwise, I can say, we'll call you in the next couple of Man, days to reschedule. I, I, I get excited seeing something like that because, again, in trade magazines, it's been very trendy to talk about bots and chat yep. bots. And it's like, all right. Are these going to become the wave of the future? Will clients interact with these chatbots to book appointments and yep. manage schedules like that? And this is kind of like a hybrid yes, yeah. because it's not a chat bot taking control of everything, but it's also not on the other end of the spectrum where the advisor or the staff is doing 100% of the work. Correct. They're using these auto responses with keywords and mm -hmm. key responses that you are prompting your client to send back to you yep. and then moving the conversation along. And once again, like you're right, an advisor can be with his children on Sunday afternoon at the baseball game and they're not having to keep their nose buried in their phone. Correct. Which we all are guilty of it's doing. It's pretty much in our hand every minute of the day anyway, but. But now you have a solution where yep. the phone doesn't, they don't need to be buried. Correct. Because you have some of this automation in there so these clients can respond and if they can't make the appointment, now they are in a self-service cycle yep. to go book another appointment or propose some other times. Correct. I mean, think about it. From this is a, more than just archive text messages. Yeah. So think about it from, and this is the beauty of having an advisor create it, right? So there's a few other things. If you take this, Riskalyze. A lot of advisors use Riskalyze. One of the cool things about Riskalyze from a prospecting standpoint is what's your risk score? Sure. So you can tell people at a seminar or a workshop, radio, commercial, doesn't make any difference, text the word risk to this number and they automatically get a link to take their score. Yeah, so I hear about their... that all the time yep. with a bunch of marketing of text some word to 90210 yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And that's something that uh, you're not driving, right? When nope, you're driving. Yeah, you, we don't do text and driving, yep. but you're in where somewhere where you do that and you get that. And now the advisor, I mean, it's, that's, you can, I, I like it. Yeah. It's a new way to, again, you're not, selling them immediately, mm -hmm. but this is a way to use text messaging to provide a nice call to action yep. and to get that prospect a little more involved in your onboarding process. Really clever. Yeah. 
one of the one of the biggest reasons why I created that and I wanted that feature in there was because I used to do a lot of seminars and workshops and I wanted to make it easier for people to RSVP. One of the things that always came to mind was how do I make it even easier? So it's one thing to have to pick up the phone and make a phone call. Yep. There's a lot of people that just won't do it because by the time they get home and they get my invitation, they've got a handful of groceries and kids and dinner to make and that that postcard gets put on the table and they don't remember to do it. 10 digit dialing, yeah. I gotta wait for four rings. Correct. I might get voicemail, I don't wanna leave a voicemail. Yep. Yep. There's a lot of reasons to say no to that. Yep, same with an email. And so this was something I wanted to be able to do years ago and say, God, what if they could just text the word RSVP? But there was no real solution out there that we could find that would allow us to do it in a manner that also allowed us to respond to that. Uh, so that was the other reason we did that was until now text whatever you want i can create the keyword and i can create the auto response so it gives so, me a lot of flexibility so yeah i could just i could go on you could do risk you could do my you could do all sorts of stuff yeah they really the options are endless on identifying what type of auto response you want to put in here very handy all right, all right. you could stop right there and i'm sold but show me a little bit more all right so what I want to do now is jump over to the cell phone because I actually want to send a text message to myself. As you can see, we're using the computer interface for most of this, but yep. I want to jump over to the phone just so you can see what that looks like. So I got my phone here. I got to go into my rep chat. So a couple, of, a couple of things to everybody that's listening. So we have multi-factor authentication on here as well. Because I'm using your phone for this, um, I, I selected the remember me option there sure. in the middle. If I didn't select that, I would have had I would have been given the choice to use my fingerprint. Um, oh, so, so your touch ID compatible. Yep. So a lot of everybody likes that. They don't have to type this thing in every single time. Yep. So if I log in, you're going to see a very similar experience to what you see with normal chat systems, uh -huh. right? So if I go to Derek, I'm going to see my my messages. Uh, this entire string of conversation pops up here. There's a couple of things that I want to show you, but first. I want to actually go back out and send a text message. Yep, keep going. There it is. As if I'm a prospective client. All right. So again, I tell people don't import all your clients, but tell your clients they can text you. So let's say you're a client of mine. I didn't bring you in here, but you sent me a text message. Okay. So I'm going to type in the number. 8143. So as a client, you send me this message comes out of the blue. All right. You'll notice right there the pop-up. I got a message from my rep chat. Ah, uh, okay. So I do get the alert there as well. Turn. Oh, there it is. And so then you just replied. What you'll notice is without me doing anything, you got a response. Okay, so this was the auto response. This is an auto response. Excellent. So this keeps me from, again, if I get a message from an unknown number, my first response is gonna be, who is this? Right? That's the way it always is. It's like, who who there? Yeah. yeah. It's like, so <laughs> here, this, this? Is the, yeah, this is the most professional way for me to do it. And then the person responds back with their name. All right. You know, Bill. Yeah, Bill Winterbury. Hey, look at the auto. Yeah. Who? Right there? Yep. All right. So now, as the advisor, I now have, you sent me a message. I now have it's that message. Up. Yep. If I go back to the message screen, there it is. So uh -huh. I can edit the details now that I know who you are so that I can save you in my system. All right, so there, Bill Winterberg. Perfect. So it pops up and it's there. Perfect. So everything I do on one will show up automatically on the other. Mm -hmm. So if I go back here, I'll refresh this just so it updates the name. There it is. There it is. Everything you do on one pops up in real time on the other and everything, I, everything possible on one is possible on the other as well. And then for other staff that might be in the firm, mm -hmm. Do they also have access to view anything that they're given permission to? Yeah. Do they have access to see some of the texts? And then also the other question is, at what point does it get synchronized to Bill Winterberg in the CRM? Yes. So right now, if Bill Winterberg comes into our system just the way you did, yep. we have no way of knowing what CRM you're connected to or even if you're in the CRM. All right. That's fine. Yeah. So then what you do is just go back to the smart office integration, hit update, and it'll tell you. Uh, so if I have 300 contacts that are connected from Smart Office, for example, yep. it'll tell me, you know, one contact added, um, you know, 300 updated, right? Because maybe they maybe they updated something, maybe they didn't. Mm -hmm. So we won't duplicate anything if it's already exists. It just good. updates it. So we're good to go there. Good. So now that we understand some of the values of the being able to use the auto response as a way to save me time of importing everybody, there's a few things that I'll show as well. So first of all, we can 
send media files. So for, for example, I have a Samsung phone, I have a Samsung smartwatch. Yep. What people don't know, unless they've used this, is that you also get your messages on your smartwatch. Uh, right, right. So messages come in, the message is there, this is just a picture of that. But you can send images to clients and GIFs and all those other things that people send and receive. There's the message. All right. So hey. there's that. All right. If I go back out right here in this bottom square is where I can use my templates. Ah. So now let's say, for instance, you're somebody who, right around tax time, you send me a message and say, Derek, what's the difference between a Roth IRA and an IRA? Right? That, that question comes up all the time. Right? So yep. we're, working on, we're working on something right now that's going to make this even easier, but I can't announce it yet. But I'll show you what I've done here. So first of all, I can go, well, great question. Let me send you this. So if I go back here to the client version, there it is. So as a client, <clears throat> you're gonna get... Yeah, it takes me to the Safari browser and... So understanding IRAs. So there's the document. Wow, so again, you're using the shortcuts, if you mm -hmm. will, the templates, so that you can set up those templates with pre-established content value Correct. adds for clients and prospects. Yep. And right from the MyRep chat app, you're able to directly send value add information to these inquiries. Correct. Yep. Saved me a ton of time. Absolutely it did. Yep. So that I can use, of course, that's just a template that I have in here, but there's a ton of different ones you can have in here as well, as you can imagine. Yeah. It's un I suspect it's unlimited. No it limit to nope. the number of templates. Nope. This next box here on the right is where I can schedule a message. Ah, cool. <laughs> so if I want to schedule a message directly from your contact, It'll let me do that. And then down here at the bottom, you'll see there's no scheduled messages. But if you had any coming up, it would tell me, you know, November 5th is your birthday message. Yeah, that, that's whatever it might helpful be. for the advisor to know <laughs> that they're not overloading yep. a client or prospect with a bunch of automated Correct. messages. They can see what's in that feed or stream, if you will. Yeah. Uh, this this button right here, this is this is an important feature as well. So I used to do a lot of seminars, a lot of workshops. And one of the things that I started doing when I did these was... I would say to everybody, do me a favor, text the word V card, right? 90% of business cards are lost or thrown away within five days. <clears throat> I, I have like you a stack of business cards that I still haven't entered into my CRM. Yeah, so. there you go. <laughs> and remember the most important thing we and can that was do. And that was not scripted. We didn't. Yeah, that's that. okay. <laughs> One of the most important things we can do, remember, is to get our contact information into the phone of somebody else. Okay. Yeah, that's the way you get some real estate yep. in their contact list. So I'm an, I'm a I'm gonna I'm gonna take this approach now from a client. Okay, I'm sitting in a workshop or a seminar, and the person says to me, text the word V card to this number. Yep. So if we go back to the phone, I'm now the client, and I text the word V card. I'm not quite sure what this means yet. I'm sitting in the auditorium wondering why in the world I had this guy asked me to text the word V card. We'll give it a second because right now it's generating and it's responding. Well, and hopefully they said from the podium, if you text the word V card to this number, then I will provide my contact information for you. And here it is. But it's not just contact information. You actually sent a V card that you're tapping on it and there's all of the information yep. in the V card format. So super easy to create a new contact or add to an existing contact. I see that right yep. there. Fantastic. Yep. So we made it really easy to get it into the phone of somebody else by simply just text the word V card. But if that's, they that sells itself right there, it's just a great to feature. Get the advisor's contact information. It's uh, again, I'm I'm totally guilty. I'm, I'm showing yeah. my business cards. I have all these that I need to get in my phone or in my CRM. Yep. If I had a way to just send out, hey, send me your V card to this phone number. You done. I wouldn't have this pile of yeah. work to get through. Cool. Yeah. So you can do it that way, or you can simply hit this little button right to the left of the phone, and it'll push it out to somebody. Got so it. if I already had you in my system and I wanted to send you this, I could just push it to you. And so you if you collected request. 10 business cards at an event yep. because they wanted more information, you can go through the phone numbers Correct. or whatever phone numbers that were provided yep. and then push out the V card to say, Correct. it was great to see you at the seminar. 
uh, here is my contact information yep. that you can add to your phone. Perfect, that's exactly right. Clever, very good. If you use the phone feature on here, remember we're actually gonna use your cell phone to make that call, not the MyRepChat number for the voice over IP reasons we talked about earlier, yeah. but you can still originate it from here just like you can a normal texting thing. I don't have to get out of this and start a phone call somewhere else. So we made it very simple. Terrific. A few more things that I'll highlight, and I'll use the phone for this. Arguably, you could stop right there, but all right, let's see them. Yes, yeah, so a couple of things. One, if you look down here at the bottom, I can see the account activity. One of the worst things for me as an advisor, if I'm texting you, is knowing after a while, if I'm doing this with a bunch of clients, are you even responsive to this? Okay. So this helps me understand how responsive you are to texting. The other thing I can do is add you to a group. So let's say, for instance, you're a you're a client of mine, you're an A client. So I wanna add you to the A client group. Here's, oh, okay. why, here's why that's important. I can, in fact, schedule a message to a group of people. So I'm gonna send a message, oops, tapped it twice to my A clients. Now I can type a message and hit send, or I can schedule it for the future. This is really helpful for seminars, workshops, client events like that. So if it's coming up in three months, maybe I wanna schedule a reminder, and, a month and a half, reminder in a month, two weeks, the day before, and I just schedule them all out there. Then as we yeah. get closer to it, I just add people to the group. Here's what's really unique about this and great from a compliance perspective. This never actually sends out a group message. So if there's 50 people that are set to receive this, uh -huh. it sends 50 individual messages. So nobody else knows who received it, nobody else can respond to everybody else. This just saves me a ton of time because I don't want to type that message and hit send 50 times. No way. So I can add you to groups, I can take you off groups, I can send messages, but it's always individual, always, always, always individual. That is powerful. Again, just like the templates, now I can think about ways to segment my contacts yep. in different groups based off of interest or communication activity. Yeah. And now, like you said, you can do invitations for a certain group of clients. Yep. And again, I like that you stressed the conscientious nature of avoiding those massive group yep. chats and group texts. You're siloing each individual connection, which we know is being archived for compliance and supervision Correct. and review purposes, yep. which we haven't talked a lot about, but it just happens. Yep. So you, you led into this discussion with, we want to provide a solution that doesn't increase the friction for advisors to use it, but you've spent the last 20, 25 minutes talking about a lot of these things that go on behind the scenes yes. that saves tons of time, but still doesn't create a lot of friction between the advisor and the client. This is very impressive. Yeah. The last thing I'll highlight on the app itself, on the phone, there's, there's, there's one thing you can do on the phone that you can't do on the computer. And that is if I go to the main menu, which is the top left, you'll see in the middle, there's a button called calculators. As an advisor, you know, you'll find yourself having interesting conversations at random times. You're having a cup of coffee and somebody sees what you do and they want to know, I just had a kid, what's it going to cost to pay for their college or you, something You like never that. know what kind of question yep. you're going to get. And you're at a wedding. It, stuff comes up all the time. Yeah. So what I wanted to do selfishly as an advisor was figure out how do I help that conversation not have to come to an end. And so we put these here because I wanted to allow an advisor to have something at their fingertips that kept the conversation moving forward. So if somebody says, what's it gonna to cost to send Johnny to college? Well, just click the college savings button and here's a calculator. Now it's not a calculator that's gonna spit out a result that I can send to a client because that requires a whole bunch of disclosures and all that good stuff. All right, all this right. is literally just something that if I hit calculate as I'm sitting there with you, it will pull up the numbers. And it's just designed to keep a conversation moving forward. That's the whole intent behind this. So that's so I'm trying to wrap my head around this. This is not necessarily like a text messaging, anything like that. This these are useful little widgets, if mm -hmm. you will, little yeah. applications inside the app that just you know as an advisor. Yep. You've received these questions before, and you could probably use the native calculator app, or you might open a Google search and Correct. go Google for some answers yep. or some calculations, but you've thought, hey, if I just put these little quick scenarios into the My Rep Chat app, yep. well, then I can get a quick estimate of the answer. It's not the gold standard, but Correct. it doesn't like let the conversation go stale. Yep. It's here's my estimate on that, but if we're able to connect in person or talk more over the phone, I can get a better detailed answer. But here's something that's like a, a rough guess, a rough Correct. estimate. 
and you can do that right from the app. Yeah, and oh, there's clever. more. There's more that we're working on for this. Um, kind of going back to that document that I sent you. There's a lot of things that we're, we have in development right now that's going to make it even easier. So when somebody says, "Well, how's a Roth IRA work?" I can just click a button and it'll send them similar information or more information like that. So we're working on some of that stuff to build it right into the application as well to make it, again, more useful for people to right. use it. Indeed. I mean, I started by painting the picture, hey, if you're sending text messages yep. and you're not archiving them for compliance, we've got a solution for you. But in our exploration of your solution, archiving and the supervision has not been the primary focus Correct. of what we've talked about. We've spent a lot of time on the easy vCard integration, the templates and autoresponders, and now some quick scenario calculations to provide just a fluid conversation. Uh, I'm sold on it. Yeah. So for our viewers who are watching, they might be just sold on it yep. as well. So let's get into the weeds of pricing and yep. how to get access to the, this information. So yeah. how do people watching, how do they get involved with learning about my rep chat and even signing up with it? Yeah, so a couple of things. First, if you're part of a broker dealer, right? We have relationships established with a lot of broker dealers, but not all of them yet. So the last thing you want to do is sign up. So if you're up. a broker dealer, you want to be in touch, yes. of course. If, if you all work, right. if you work or fill with a broker dealer, let us know who they are. See if you can help us put get in contact with the right people and we can see if we can't get approved there. We don't we don't charge any fees to the broker dealer to set it up, to use it, even for the entire broker dealer administrative portal, which they get to customize everything, there's no cost to that as yeah, well. Yeah, because they need the supervision of all yep. the reps affiliated with the firm. And they get a whole different access to this system. So if you're part of a broker dealer, just know that that's there. Be careful about signing up without getting their permission because you can't get your hand slapped. Yeah, sure. If you don't have those restrictions or requirements. Yeah, you're an independent RIA. Yep. So our standard pricing starts at $20 a month and we, we have discounts and relationships established with all kinds of associations and things like that. And uh, for folks that are you know registered with FP pad, we have another discount as well for just a flat $15. All right. So I think I can pull that up here on the machine and let's get that on the screen. Yep. So this is, if you go to fppad.com slash myrepchat, that's going to land on the My Rep Chat page and mm -hmm. it'll have the credit or the coupon or whatever it is yep. to get that incentive pricing. And so to reiterate, anybody watching here who follows that website address, mm -hmm. they get $15 a month per advisor yep. to sign up with My Rep Chat. And is there a free trial available if, yeah. you know, if they don't necessarily want to sign up or they want to test it out for a little bit? Yep. Is there a trial available? Two weeks. So there's a two week free trial in the system as well when you sign up. We'll start communicating with you as well, giving you different tips and things like that. But you'll probably hear from someone in our office to figure out how do we help you make this experience better. But if you ever have questions, we have tutorials online, we have videos online. You can contact us through email, through phone, whatever it might be. We're always here to help. That's terrific. So I'll put that back up on the screen. That's fvpad.com slash myrepchat. That'll forward over to the myrepchat site and you will receive the My Rep Chat subscription at the low, low price of $15 a month per advisor. Correct. Pretty incredible, not just to alleviate the concern I have of financial professionals using text messaging without having compliance and archiving and supervision, yep. which is their regulatory requirement, but now you've walked me through quite a number of features that are really value add features with CRM integration with contact information. The autoresponders is super clever. Yeah. The quick calculators, super clever as well. So it's one thing to advertise it as a compliant text messaging solution, yep. but I see it and you've convinced me it's a business building solution. It's a growth tool. It's a communication and correspondence with clients and prospects. Yep. There's a lot to add here yep. and a lot to like here at a really affordable price. Yeah. and. That's the one thing that we try to make sure advisors understand. Again, it's more than just texting. It's more than just a texting tool. Which is important to have that. It's extremely. But it's, it's more than that. Yeah, and to me, that's sort of the the level standard, right? Yes, okay, I can finally text. Compliance is going to be happy. I'm not going to get in a ton of trouble for doing this. But now it's everything else above and beyond that. And so trying to get as many advisors to understand how this tool works, the fact that it was created by somebody who understands what they do, also I think goes a long way because they can see right in this, this is actually somebody who <laughs> communicates with clients. So he gets why some of this stuff is important. Um, and again, we're there's so many more things that I have on my radar for how we can improve this thing. And I, I can't wait 
for my developers to have time to actually do some of these things because I'm constantly loading them down with all this other stuff. So, Well, let's hope that our viewers watching, they sign up, they love it as much as I do. They roll it out in their business. They start using it in a compliant fashion yeah. with their clients, but they're also growing their business because they're picking up prospect information using the V cards and the autoresponders. So you get more people subscribing, more signups, and more resources that you can deploy to do all these things Correct. that you know, you've hinted at that you have some features in the pipeline. Yep. So maybe we have to come back in six months or nine months or something I'm okay and with provide that. an update. I'm okay with that. Cool. Well, Derek, this has been great. I hope our viewers have appreciated the walkthrough as much as I have. I've learned a lot, again, above and beyond just standard archiving and capturing. There's a lot to love here. Good, so, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming to FBPAD headquarters here in Atlanta. Thanks for having me. Walking me through the demo. Yeah, it's And been I fun. hope our viewers found a lot of value in it. Cool. Thank All you. All right, Derek. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. See you. Make sure you subscribe to the FBPAD YouTube channel. I will be doing more demos just like the one you saw here. So subscribe today, and I will see you next time.